Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing a look at the Thunder Warriors for Shadows of Brimstone's Forbidden Fortress Kickstarter I got with my Shogun Pledge. How are you guys? I'm not too bad, a little tired, still a little ill, but nowhere near as bad as I was yesterday, in which I apologise because this video should have been done yesterday. Also, just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, I still have a vote at the end of this video, which would either be the cannon or the hero. Once I finish this card set, ladies and gentlemen, I will get everything else out and I'll ask you which one you'd like me to do. But then if it ends up being another card set, I'll just continue doing the uh, um, uh, look at from that other sets. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with the fluff. So let's begin. A roll of thunder strikes the ground and blinding lightning flashes across the sky. The raging thunder warriors descend from the heavens on a crackling bolt of electricity. These powerful supernatural warriors are the advance guard of the dragon's army. Servants of the Shoru, I think. The Dragon King and the Lord of the Storm. They do not suffer the will of mortal men, nor do they heed the mortal men of the code of lesser beings. They are god spirits, descending, descending vengeance for the banishment of their master. Kind of cool. Okay, again, guys, there's a mission. And there's also a nice little paint guide on how to paint them by the steps as well. Okay, guys, so now we're going to take a quick look at one of the sprues. You also get three stands. I've built one model. These... These models are technically classed as large, so let's get this white piece of paper and let's take a little gander. I've also got a model built. Now I'm not going to say these aren't hard to build, but it took me a second to work out what to do with the heads. And I'm still not 100% sure I've got it glued on properly because I thought it looked meant to, it's meant to look more straight than I've actually got it. Okay guys, so... Yeah, I think I've got the hat on wrong. But this is what they kind of look like when built. I do think they look kind of cool. What really does remind me of Little Trouble, uh, Big Trouble in Little China, the movie. I do enjoy that film, actually. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to have a look at the uh, low threat cards, which are generally for your one to two heroes. There's two, two of the same. Then you've got your medium threat. Which is D3 Thunder Warriors. Storm Lords. If there's only one Storm Lord, draw a sorry, Raging uh, Raijin Storm Lord card for him. Again, same with the second card. Then you've got your high threat cards. Which is three of them. And Storm Lord. Oh, draw a Storm Lord card for one of these. Okay. So I wonder what threat high th um this is going to be, let's have a look at the first one, draw a foot for one of these, okay, cool, wow, draw a storm cord for each, Ooh, that scares me, but this one you'd have to draw another threat with, now that's interesting, now guys, I'm not going to show all the storm lord trait cards, so I'm just going to do, oh, I thought there was five, I did, I thought there was five, I haven't buried one, have I, let me have a quick look in here, just to see if they say five cards. Da, 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 da. No, I thought there was five cards. Oh, right, well, as I said, oh, maybe it's four. Maybe I'm getting it wrong, but I'll have a quick look on before. And I'll leave a little comment somewhere. So I'm just going to grab this one here. And I'm going to turn it around. And this is saying lightning. This is the Thunder Warriors. Uh, this is the Thunder Warriors enemy with the following. Plus four health. Plus four initiative. Or area bolts. This enemy has plus two shots with its lightning bolts. Lightning shock. Any hero with an item that gives them armor is minus one defense against this enemy's attack. Wow. Okay, that's kind of interesting. There's a few other bits here. You've got thunder, wind, rain, lightning. That sounds about what a storm would have anyway. But I'm not going to show you what the what's on the other ones. Okay, guys, so you've got your Thunder Warriors, large. Initiative 6. They are also Myth, Dragon Army, and Ragin. Now, I might not be saying that wrong. I apologise if I am. 
Masters of Thunder moves through other models and change targets each turn, immune to weather effects. Windstorm weather. Each hero starting on adjacent moon, um, activating on a map tile with one or more Thunder hero, Thunder warriors is minus two movement, minimum of one. Now I apologise, guys. I did say adjacent. I meant it's actually on on. The map tile these warriors are. So that's it. I apologise for that. Um, tough. Immune to critical hits. Hmm. Kind of scary. Lightning bolt. Spell. Ranged attack. At the start of its activation. Make a three ranged attack at a random hero within range and line of sight. Range five. Two shots. Three damage. Ignores armour. Each roll for, for a hit on the target will... As well as every other hero adjacent to the target. So if you hit them. Oh wow that's horrible. Okay so that is. Moves at, moves at 8. Has an escape. Or escape of uh, 4 plus. It's range is 3 plus. It's melee is 4 plus. It's combat is 2. It's damage is a peril dice. It's defense is 3. It's health is 12. It has. It has 10 for the, um, wow, so these guys actually, right, I think this guy's more dangerous than some of the other guys, but, and it's, XP is quite low, really, but then it does have a few health points, so, maybe that makes up for it. Raging Martial Arts. Raging Warriors, melees to, to hit rolls of 6, do a D6 hits each. So, basically, if they roll a 6 whilst trying to hit you, they will do D6 hits each for that roll of six. That's scary. Crackling of energy, plus, uh, plus eight health and plus one combat. Cloud of spirits, plus one combat, plus one shot with uh, lightning strike. Regeneration D6 kind of scares me, but at the same time means you could get a mass load of XP with these guys. Descending from the heavens. Warriors... Uh, Thunder Warriors start in ambush any time a Thunder Warrior moves five or more spaces before attack or in the first turn of an ambush. It gains plus two combat for the attack. Okay. Massive bucket hat. <laughs> Thunder Warriors combat hits are X damage where X is equal to the hero's level. So lower you are, wouldn't mind that one so much. Higher you are, really wouldn't want that one so much. Okay, now we're looking at the other side, ladies and gentlemen. So they, there is a big difference, one already. The initiative is seven. Sorry, my hands seem a bit uh, moving. Okay, that's the same. Thunder, Masters of Thunder, Windstorm is the same. Tough is still the same, but Thunderbolt is slightly different. It now still does the range of five, but is three shots. Also does three damage instead. Yeah, sorry. So it does three shots. Each. Okay, it's the same as there. It moves now at ten, which is better. Its escape is the same. Its range is still the same. Its melee is still the same. Its combat is one less. It's still a uh, peril dice. Its defense is still the same, but now they have... 20 wounds, but now it's 20 with a plus of 5, so that kind of makes sense. Okay, the combat, uh, the first one is still the same, the second one is different, I believe, yes it is. The second one is Crackling of Power, plus 10 health and plus 1 combat. Wow, Sky Gods, plus 2 combat and plus 1 shot for, that's not the same on the other side, is it, Sky Gods? No, it is actually different. Uh, regeneration is still the same. Uh, descend from the heavens. Warriors will start an ambush any time the Thunder Warrior moves five. It's the same as before, and so is Massive Buckethead. So they're all the same. Oh, well, not all the same. There was one or two slight differences there. Okay, guys. So just to also let you know, I'm not sure when I will be able to do my next um, look at guys. I'm going to salute this weekend. So where I was hoping to maybe to get another video done just before. Sorry about that. Okay, so hopefully Sunday night I will be doing in my next one. 
Will that be the hero? Or will it be the cannon? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. I'm very sorry that this didn't happen yesterday. Uh, the cold I have got the better of me and made me very tired. And I also wanted to rest as much as I could because I am going to salute. So I'm going to be trying to get as much filming done for that as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all good. I am. I hope you're all well, too. I'm not so well. I've got a rotten cold. But yes, guys, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for voting. And thank you for everyone who's uh, been helping. See you later, guys. Bye.